Okay, welcome back to Paddy's Golf Tips. Uh, we're going big budget this one. We've got props. Okay, so this one is kind of what's very trendy I see on, on Instagram. How to start the downswing, and most people will say how to shallow the club. For me, how not to come over the top. The winner of the gold medal and the champion golfer of the year is Podrick Harrington. <laughs> Okay, so how do we start the downswing? Personally, I would say to you, I've covered this before and I will cover it again. Just practice off a side slope with the ball above your feet. Okay, if, if you hit a couple of hundred shots over, you know, three 20 minute sessions, that will get a draw into your swing. You will, if you're practicing with the ball above your feet like this, and take all your practice swings up here. If you're somebody who comes over and cuts it, take all your practice swings at this height because you're going to swing from inside and underneath. So it's naturally going to be shallowed enough, okay? I'm a bit scared of that term, the shallowing. I think people are getting a bit overdone with this. So how should the downswing, what should the feel of the downswing be? Okay, the start of the downswing. Again, I like to think we should always work, especially when we're practice swinging, shoulder to shoulder. When you actually go to swing the club, the weight of the club will finish that bit of the swing off. The actual weight of it will do that. So when you're practice swinging, we tend to try and stay from about shoulder to shoulder all the time. So the start of the downswing should feel like this, okay? Get yourself a prop in the gym or, or, or this cart will do. You could put it here and just hold, right? Go to your top of your backswing and then turn down into your left heel, okay? So you're trying to turn down into the heel. We're not spinning out. Worst thing you can do in the golf is straighten that leg straight out. That's nothing. You're gonna feel good for a week and then you're gonna wipe out after that. We wanna turn down, okay? Now, clearly we wanna turn down, but we don't want the arms to come out with it. That would be coming over the top. We want the arms to fall in. Grip onto something that doesn't move to start off with and turn down. And what you will find is you can pull into that side and everything down here will stretch, okay? So I'm getting a stretch here, I'm getting a stretch all the way down, and I'm getting a stretch here. Now that stretch on this hand is what's gonna make the club shallow. That's all we need, that much. We need a little shallow, that much, okay? We don't want it to cup this way down. So if you grip something, again, if it's a pretty heavy weight that can move, so I'm gonna, a band would probably do this better, but I'm gonna use a towel. Now you can see I'm in the top of my backswing. As I pull, you can see the way my left wrist will twist a little bit there. So they get left behind. They don't get left behind doing nothing. It's more of that motion, more of a pull. So you can practice getting the feel of the stretch. This is stretching, this is stretching. Right across here is stretching across here. My right side is pulling down, and you can see the little bit of rotation will happen in that wrist as I pull hard, like that, okay? So that's the feeling we want. We want to go without moving. So we want that motion. Ideally, as I said, if you practice, if you're trying to get it shallow, practice this ball above your feet, that will work. So ideally we get up to the top. Again, we're, we're working always shoulder height. We're planting into that left heel. We're pulling everything. And that's given the stretch. There's no big, there's a little movement up there because it will move, but there's no big, there's no big movement. It, how much can I get this to stretch? And that's one reason why in golf, why we don't make the absolute maximum backswing. So if I fully stretch in the backswing, okay, and the long drivers are particularly good because they can manage this, but most people can't. If you go to the absolute stretch of this, right, well, how can you reach, how can you get an extra stretch in the downswing? We want to be just short of our maximum so we can get that stretch. And you can see the minute I stretch, that wrist will stretch and pull it, 
drop a little bit. So that's the shallow we want. I don't advocate doing it yourself. You might do it yourself for a bit of feel, just to understand it, but that's what we call in the game. Bob Torrance used to love this word, that's flailing. So doing, doing the move independently doesn't really create any, I don't mind you trying it just to know it, but it's not a great thing to swing the club independent with any part of your body. You're much better off getting that move. So every bit of me is pulling, like I'm pulling something down, like so, and you can see the force in it. It's not coming out with me. So, so don't focus as much on the shallow, focus on the, I wanna get a good stretch here. And you get that, go into the gym, get something pretty heavy there, moves a little bit and just go. And you'll see how you get that little bit of action in your wrist and that's what you wanna get in the golf course. Fully believe if you practice and hit enough shots off a side slope, you are going to draw the ball. So if shallowing is only about getting the ball drawing, just practice off a side slope, it will work. Okay, a lot easier than what I talked about, but that will give you the feel that we're trying to start the downswing with everything gripping, everything pulling, but our hands slightly being left behind, okay? Just like that, and that's a great way of getting the feel of it.